What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right, you guys, and oh snap, this is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Wednesday. So today, today you find me inside of my forge, taking a look at the Daedric Light Armor, Mihail Armors and Clothes. Now, we've seen mods before from this Mihail character. In fact, there's a lot of their mods all over Bethesda.net, but today... Today we're taking a look at the light version of the Daedric Armor. So we have the regular Daedric Armor here. It does not replace it. It just adds it alongside it. So you can find it within the Daedric Smithing section, which means you do actually need the Daedric Smithing perk, but you can find it right here. Now, as for light armor, that doesn't look like it's going to be very light, but considering just how beefy the Daedric Armor Heavy looks, perhaps it does, you know, its job of being light armor. So the light armor comes with a whopping 48 armor, while the Daedric armor itself has a whopping 52. And we can compare these all day and just see, you know, that the uh, the heavy armor obviously has more armor than the light stuff. But honestly, we should take a look at this um, all together. So that's exactly what I've done. Here's the helmet right here, and we've got ourselves the light gauntlets and the boots and everything like that. But yes, you do indeed need to have the Daedric Smithing perk. You can also find the Daedric Light Armor out in chests if you're at the specific level, um, and you can sometimes find them inside of boss chests, but let's take a look at what the armor looks like all together. So here, for comparison's sake, we have the entire suite of Daedric weapons with the heavy Daedric Armor on here. Now, this is the vanilla Daedric Armor, and we can see that it's got, you know, the red inlays. It kind of looks like it's almost breathing, slash like it's alive, even though it's on an armor mannequin, which is a really cool look. But this right here is the Daedric Light Armor. Now, it does not look light whatsoever. <laughs> it looks like another set of heavy armor, but it has the light armor stats. Now, when it comes to the whole thing together, I'm not a big fan of the eyeball-looking things inside of the, uh, the helmet. I don't know if that's like a texture thing or if it's like actually supposed to be eyeballs, but I can kind of imagine them being googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it completely undermines the intimidation factor of this armor. Uh, however, the spikes are a nice touch, and I will say that when it comes to the Daedric armor, I was never a big fan of the glowing red underneath of like all of the little slits and stuff, but this just feels a lot more compact and one piece, uh, whereas with the Daedric it feels a little bit segmented with the red. This all flows well together, it's all got the same color palette and everything like that. So the armor itself it's very pretty, I will say that. It's fairly high resolution if we get right up next to it. The chainmail looks good, there's not a whole lot of stretching of the textures. And it does actually come with a, like a little robe down here. Now if we come down to the foots, the Daedric boots, they're always the funniest thing ever because they've got these little points on them, like if you kick someone, you could kick them really, really hard and absolutely murder them. But uh, he's a pretty spiky boy, I'm not gonna lie. So that is the Daedric light armor. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the person, shall we? And so here you can actually see the armor on me, and it does look very, very cool. Now, again, with the Daedric weapons, they have the red inlays, so it won't necessarily look the best uh, when you're using the Daedric light armor, but even still, I think it's nice to have the option. Like we have with the dragon bone and the dragon scale armor, being able to have a heavy dragon or a heavy Daedric and then a light Daedric is honestly a very nice option to have especially because that's not really been a thing in this mod or in this game um, forever. Even Ebony. Ebony doesn't have any light armor. And so if you want something that's black and kind of, you know, light, you're going to be going with mage robes or with the ones that you find off of necromancers and stuff like that. So it's a nice option to have here to have a light armor that doesn't look light if by any means necessary, uh, but uh, is absolutely one that I would have in my load order if I was going for someone who really liked to play with the Daedric armors. So what are you guys thinking down there in the comment section? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Would you use this armor mod in your next playthrough or are you going to add it right now? Let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. So until next time, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next showcase.